good morning uh, m0 msn mike is the name and uh, today um i have received in the post um this little package here uh, which i'm just about to open uh, i mean i have opened the box and had a had a look uh, obviously to make sure that it was indeed what i thought it was but I've not removed it from the packaging at all. Um, so I thought I'd do that today. Now, I ordered um, the auto antenna system from uh, from AliExpress. Uh, it took about a month to get here, uh, mainly because of the fact that they didn't have any in stock, uh, and I wasn't aware of that when I purchased it. Um, but uh, this is it this is the uh the piece of a kit um the idea behind it is that you would connect up your transceiver this side the and the atas antenna on this side uh, and this does all of the work that the yesu radio would do um it would auto tune the the antenna uh, i.e move it up and down uh, until it finds a tune on the band that you're transmitting on. Well, at least that's the hope. I have no idea if it works or not. Uh, but to go through the features, you have uh, an ancillary connector on this end. Uh, I haven't got any instructions with it as of yet. I've asked for them to be sent to me, so hopefully I'll have them tomorrow. Um, but just reading the, the bits and pieces on the front, there's a Bluetooth um, antenna dongle thing here. I'm not quite sure. Um, about that, uh, how it's connected. It looks like it's just a dongle out the side. Um, that's for uh, an app that you can run on your phone. Uh, you have the up and down buttons on this side, which I'm guessing will be replicated through this so that you have a remote um, system. Uh, and obviously the antenna out and the antenna in, well, not obviously, but that's what they are. Um, and I'm also guessing that the power would come through the ancillary cable. Um, otherwise, I can't see how else it would be powered. Anyway, there we are. So that's what we've got in the post today. Um, let's have a look and see what else come with it. I must say it's quite well packed. And it looks like you get a little um, patch cable with it as well. Ah, here we go. There's a lot more involved than I thought there would be. Okay. Um, AX17 fly cable. That goes into the ancillary. I'm presuming that looks like a back of an, um, an ICOM uh, controller and the power supply. That's an interesting uh, thing. Um, okay, what else do we have? We have a patch lead. RJ58 patch lead. Oh. Kenwood. ICOM. Interesting. And an IC705. Then, uh, what have we got? We have an ancillary to ancillary. Uh, I don't know what radio that would be for, but we have one of those. And we have then what looks like just a, a power lead. Um, converter or connector. Yeah. Okay. And I'm presuming it would go on to that. Yeah, it does. So just quickly remove the top cover. Um, hopefully this will reveal what is in the wee beastie. Um, oh, that's not a very good image, is it? Let me, uh, let me see if I can get it into some better light. Is that any better? I 
Okay, so this is the AX17 Pro, which is the latest incarnation of this uh, antenna um, tuner stroke, uh, I don't know if you call it a tuner, controller for the ATAS. I just kind of wish that uh, it had come with instruction manuals. I've been to the website, uh, which is the, um, the BD4ACW.com website, uh, it's all in Chinese, even with the translator, it doesn't really help me um, not being uh, multilingual. Um, and uh, it does seem that the version that's on the the website, even though I have downloaded a Chinese instruction and, and um, translated it, isn't this version. So, um, so I guess the next thing to do really is... Uh, is wait for the instructions to arrive. I have requested them um, and hopefully the, the supplier will sort that out for me very shortly. Uh, but until then, um, because I don't want to damage it in any shape or form, after all I have purchased it for a reason, I want to use it, um, I will um, not progress any further. I'm not even going to try to power it. Because um, I am guessing uh, that uh, I need to give it 12 volts um, and I'm not quite sure on what rail to give it 12 volts. Um, there's no um, there's no information apart from this VCC which I'm sure in my head of course is the right one to, to use. Um, but there's also a warning on the uh, website um, about to connecting up um, this little thing uh, as it might short short circuit the system you think to yourself well okay this is um, a tad confusing so I'll leave it until I get the proper instructions and then uh, perhaps we'll proceed hopefully they'll be here tomorrow it's all email um, and it's only really dealing with with uh, time zones um, I'm guessing that that China is probably um, sleeping at the time that I'm here and it'd be vice versa so there's going to be a little bit of overlap um, so I'll just wait for some information from from China to let me know what where and when okay stay tuned <laughs>